everybody, this is Agaboo69. What you're hearing is a clean tone, alright? I'm demoing out this RP250. That is my brother's pedal. Film the guitar. Okay. And you're gonna notice I've got a clean sound. I'm using the JCM800 model, and the gain is actually maxed out. Let me show you a little trick. The reason I like this pedal as much as I do, even though it's my brother's pedal, is it works just like a real tube amp. Notice how I start to crank the volume on my guitar. You get kind of a crunch sound now. And then I pull the volume all the way up. You get a nice kind of melody, a nice melody tone. Um, at least for like older rock. Now let me show you again that uh, this is what they did back in the late 70s, early 80s, and you know, they rolled their volume knobs back because they didn't have amps with multiple channels. You either had a Marshall crank to the gills or like a JCM 800 or something. And you had a, in their single channel that far, so if you wanted to clean, you had to roll your volume back. And what I like about this pedal is it simulates that really well. It's working just like a real tube amp. Another thing I want to tell you about this pedal is we got stop box models, which means you can take like the 800, it's good for like old classic rock, but if you wanted to do something more brutal, you need a little more gain. And this pedal has stop box models. And uh, when I press the wall down, it kicks on my tube screamer model and it gives me that kind of 80s thrashing. Turn the tube screamer off, clean it back up, roll the volume back, you get a really nice clean sound. And now I'm going to move the pedal to the top of the amplifier and I'm going to show you how we can take some good clean tones and really metal, metal them up with some good stop boxes. Pause. Upside down, I don't hear it. Alright guys, I want to show you something. I've noticed when you turn the cabinet simulation off on this thing, I know I told you I was going to show you a clean sound and beef it up. We'll do that in a second. I, I, I neglected to mention this. I've noticed when you turn the cabinet simulation off, it sounds a little smoother and not quite as present. When you put the cabinet simulator on, which is rare, on most pedals, cabinet simulation actually will compress your sound and make it a little bit less, but this actually adds to the crunch and it makes it more dominant. Plus I've got the pedal set to, uh, to the amp direct out uh, opposed to mixer out. Like this is mixer out. It sounds so dead. This is amp out. So I just thought you guys would probably like to know that. Uh, I'm using the Classic 412 which is based on a Marshall cab with T70s. It's basically a Marshall 1960 cab. Now let's go to a clean sound now let's run through some of those stop box models we have. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the reverb down for a little bit because of the reverb setup. Now we're on the 6520 reverb. We're gonna switch the cab to the classic 412, which is the Marshall, basically a Marshall 1960 cab. And now here we got distortions. Well, you have a whole list of them. You got Scream 808, which this is based on the 80 is based on the TS 909 808. Uh, I think it's a Guy Tone Overdrive DoD 250. Uh, that's based on the Proco Rat. That's MXR Distortion. Uh, Boss DS1. It's Tech Grunge. Metal Zone. Death Metal. Gonculator. And the Fuzz. And the Big Muff. Big Pie or something like that. Or something to that effect. For this tone, let's go with the Rodent. Because it's, it's a pretty raunchy sounding distortion pedal. We're on. And, and the controls are just like the pedal in real life. You have distortion, filter, and level. Let's go to our EQs. 
I like a pretty heavy mid sound, so we're gonna crank the mids. You know, I like that kind of. Now your 65 twin reverb is a is a brutal metal machine. All right, let's say we wanted to have a different distortion pedal. Let's go to the metal zone. Get kind of get a really brutal high gain sound. Okay, let's say you don't want a metal sound. You want just kind of a, a bluesy, pushed kind of sound. You just want that over-the-top blues crunch. So what we'll do is we'll crank the gain on the amplifier and use the Tube Screamer, which we just turned on. And now you get kind of this sound. kind of a bluesy kind of sound and these these are all different overdrive sounds like you got the DOD 250 you get a nice blues crunch now I'm going to turn this off real fast this is the JCM 800 again it's a very light gain sound let's put a tube screamer on top of it and you get that Let's switch amps. Let's say we want kind of a plexi sound. There we go. I'm going to switch the cab to the classic, which is the Marshall 1960 cab, like the T70s or whatever. Let's EQ it the way I like it. Uh, bass and treble on 10, mids on 8. That's a pretty good sound, but it's kind of a, a light kind of uh, gain. What if we want to metalize it a bit? Let's. You got all the different tube screamer models. What's our timer at? Uh, seven fifty. Cool. This is gonna be a two-part video. We're gonna go all the way to twenty. Now just divide it in half online. And and after we cover all these overdrives, we're gonna start going over the different kinds of effects and modulations. Now we got the DoD 250, and our amp model was the Plexi. And notice how with these uh, overdrive pedals, you really get a nice boosted sound. You get, you still got that Marshall roar. But now let's say we want the Plexi to go clean because the Plexi basically is, it is clean depending on. On uh, what you set it to, and now let's say we want to colorize it with a good distortion pedal. Let's use the MXR distortion, get kind of that classic sound. We got the plexi running on clean, and then we're driving it with the pedal. And this expression pedal is really cool. You can uh, use it to turn your distortion on and your distortion off. I'm trying to find what that's at. I might have passed it actually now that I think about it. Like if you pull it up, see? It goes clean. Press that down. Roll the volume knob back. Pull that back get it real clean. Just like a real amp. It's pretty cool. Um, so that was the stop box features. Now we're going to go into the individual effects. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a, what I call a decent lead sound. Let's use Digitech Multicorus. 